Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So today is like Saturday and we have uh like tickets to a wrestling match WWE tonight. So we're just thought we just like vlogging take you long, but I am gonna show you guys my outfit. So my shirt is from Old Navy, my shorts are from H and M, and then my shoes are like that the Valentine's Day like launch of the Converses. But guys, please comment down below if you guys like any know any cute like places to get cute tops because I really am struggling with trying to find like cute basic tops that I can just wear out I, like I really don't have anything to wear like that so just comment if you know any like stores that I could buy from all right guys I'm not sure if I said but we also had plans to go to a birthday party today and it was like one of my brother's friends that lives in the neighborhood and they had a magic show and so my sister was like one of the volunteers and stuff so I will put this in this video but so I'm going to tell you guys now and then you guys the next clip will be the magic show but yeah so now we're currently getting ready to um to leave for the um WWE fight so the next clip might be saying we're there or it might be the WWE not sure yet but we'll find out right there above the trap door we're going to have you do something with your pockets <laughs> so we're gonna have you do something with this is this is also called mentalism. This is like a prediction. So I'm gonna have you do something with the, a telephone. This is one of those Radio Shack model phones. Remember when before Radio Shack went out of business, a lot of people went and stole their phones, so they, they tried making a model phone. So we got a model phone here. It doesn't work. Okay, don't try. Okay. And then we also have a genuine cowhide wallet. And there's no money in it. And if anybody wants to put money in it, I like $100 bills. Okay. And then also, we have a car key. Do you drive yet? Yeah, I do. Wow. So I got this in the mail. Maybe some of you got these in the mail. It's uh, from Park Auto Mall, and they said, bring this down to the car dealership and try and, and start a car with it. And if it starts, you get to keep the car. You ever get one of those in there? Yeah. Um, yeah, I never. What the, you never get one? I'll let you have mine. <laughs> what they didn't say is, don't do that at 3 in the morning. Just saying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 3 a.m. methods. I know. If you do it at 3 a.m., it could be suspicious. So, so we're going to have you do something with those three objects. I know. And, um, oh, what are I thought, why did I put those coins in there? I put them in there because, in a moment, to make sure that I don't influence you, I'm going to take some coins to my eyeballs. Now, before well, these I are chocolate do, coins. I'm going to eat them. I got a prediction in here. So inside this envelope, I have a piece of paper, and it's laminated, and I have a prediction of what you're going to do with those three objects, okay? So we're going to put that right underneath here, all right? And to make sure that I don't influence you, that this is all on you, that way if the trick fails, it's your fault. And then I'm not held responsible. So I'm going to take one of these coins to one of my eyeballs. Wow, tape is not safe enough. To do the and then I'm going to take the second coin to uh, this. I have two eyes. Right. And then I'm going to pull on the third tape just in case I throw another eyeball during this experience. Here we go. So, the first coin goes over my first eyeball. This reminds me of a joke. What is a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? R. 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 You, all, you all heard that one, huh? Yep. Yeah, somebody told me C. Well, that sounds good, too. Yeah. So, we're going to take What's the second the coin to the second eyeball. And then we're going to take that third piece of tape. And I forgot to pick up my metal mask. Can you pick up that metal mask and hand it to me? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to put the metal mask. 
metal mask on. This way it's all on you. We've got the prediction written down and laminated in plastic. We've got the metal mask on over my eyeballs with the coins. Now I'm going to ask you to pick up one of those three objects and hold it up so the audience can see it. And I'm going to ask you to place that object in your front pocket. Let me know when you're done. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Now go ahead and pick up a second object if you would. Hold it up to the audience and place that in your back pocket and let me know when you're done. Okay. Good. And now I'm going to ask you to pick up that third object and put it in that paper bag. Did I leave it on the table? Okay. Good. good. I, I can't see. All I see is dead presents. I don't <laughs> so you put those three objects in three different places. Is that correct? Okay. Now I'm going to take the mask off. This is the part where we're going to see if the prediction comes true. And so I have to take the coins off. Wow, you did a good job. The audience is still here. That's good. Okay, now, let's pull out the prediction. And in the prediction, I have a picture of the key. And it says, front pocket. Is that where you put the key, Brian? Yes. Yeah. You did. Oh, let's give her a big hand. She did a good job. Got a picture of the phone and it says back pocket. Wow. And then I've got a picture of the wallet and it says in the bag. In the bag. Whoa, let's give her a big hand. And you notice she picked them all up in that order. Yeah. Wow. Alright guys, so I did change because you know, I actually like to be comfortable, and I did wear that outfit just to the party and stuff. They looked cute. But I just have on my Lululemon leggings and then my sweatshirt that I got from Tennessee. I still do have on my my brown shirt, because if I do decide I want pictures or something to look cute in, I can just take my sweatshirt off and still have a decent-looking top on. But, yeah, so that is what we're going with now. We're about to head out. It's like an hour away from here. It's, um... Yeah, it's an hour from where we live, and it starts at 7.30, and my mom says she wants to be there kind of like 30 minutes early, which is understandable, because we're probably going to want to get food, drinks, and just check out what's there, but yeah. All right, guys, as you guys can see, um, my hair is kind of wet. It's pouring down rain, and you guys can see, but we have made it here. We're currently just waiting on Nathan to park. He did let us out. We honestly just started running to the door, um, but yeah, so we are here, so getting excited all right guys so we found everyone we're actually in line this line is actually so long like this is insane but then the girl was trying to give my sister attitude because she brought an umbrella in well she wasn't giving me attitude she just told me that i had to go and bring my umbrella to the car and i was like i'm not walking two miles in the rain and two miles back just to bring my umbrella back to the car like i told her i was like i'll just leave it here and i was like i'm not walking there walking it's like she'll get it when she leaves because they like, oh, they're making everybody bring their umbrellas back. And I was like, every single person has an umbrella. So, like, I just put it to myself. Hopefully, they don't say anything. But, yeah, it's an mean, umbrella. It's an umbrella. It's not a weapon. Uh, like, honestly, guys, this has been such a struggle. Like, they're saying people can't bring umbrellas in. My mom's pocketbook's too big. Like, like I just don't understand, like, what is going on here. Yeah. 
Take this video and then I bring your phone back. Everybody say hi. 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 Next, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liam Morgan! From Dublin, Ireland, guys that was honestly so cool like as you guys saw in the video one of the wrestlers took my phone and recorded the audience and then he got a picture with me um that was honestly so so cool like i have never even been to wwe like i didn't even know like maybe it in, like it was even a story like i didn't even know that was a thing like i thought i was honestly going to like something like i know M mma is different to a wwe but for some reason i was expecting an M mma fight i don't know why i was thinking that but it was still amazing. But I wanted to show you guys what type of merch I got. So I got this t-shirt. And it's actually so cool because it has like probably like all the wrestlers on there besides. His name was Cody is the um the wrestler I met, but I don't see him on here. Um unless I'm just not looking hard enough. But I don't necessarily see him unless he's changed his appearance in this. But like a lot of the wrestlers are on here. And then it says, I was here 2022, which is honestly so cool. And then Nathan actually bought us all um, little, like, necklaces. And I think this is so cool. So I wanted to come on there and just show you. I'm going to wear this tonight, like, to bed. Like, I love these types of t-shirts because they're just fun to wear to bed. And they're, like, kind of my memories. But I just wanted to come on there and say that, like, this was honestly so cool. I had such an amazing time. Um... But also, like, I hope this video doesn't get copyrighted because we weren't supposed to film, apparently, in there. They, like, but everyone was filming, and they're like, if you post this, you, you can get copyright claim. So, who knows? This video, you guys might eventually see. You might not, depending if, you know, the WWE decides to take it down. But I'm going to post it for you guys because I got footage. So, we're going to, we're going to try it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.